So I'm going to give you two numbers to remember about haloperidol. Try not to confuse them, because it's really important. If you have somebody on an oral dose, their maintenance dose of haldol dec will be 20 times their oral dose. Okay, that's their maintenance dose. If I'm taking five milligrams a day and I respond to that, or my plasma level shows I'm taking five milligrams a day, who cares what I'm prescribed, right? Then my maintenance dose will be 100 milligrams a month. Okay, you all with me on that one? But how do we get to that maintenance point, especially if you have somebody who's not so adherent? How do I get them to maintenance? And this is going to be the thing that will illustrate that. So these were, this was a study done in patients who were taking 10 milligrams a day of oral haloperidol. Now that I've said it three times, if you're on 10 milligrams of oral haloperidol, your plasma level should be between 7 and a half and 8, okay? So if you look at the levels where it says 4 oral, 5 oral, and 1, those were the weeks on the oral medication. And so you can see at 10 milligrams a day of oral haloperidol, their, their levels were 8.06, 7.5, and 7.9. That one was the day they got their first depot injection. Okay, so that was their level just before they got their depot injection. At that point, they stopped their oral completely, and they gave them weekly injections of 100 milligrams, which is 10 times their oral dose. As you can see, the first week, which is the number two, the level drops quite a bit. You all see that? It drops to like, you know, 3.59. But then it kind of creeps back up. And really, by week four, which is after three injections, you're exactly where you started. So it shows you that if you had somebody on a dose of 10 milligrams, even if you stopped them abruptly, if you gave them at least a minimum of three weekly injections of 10 times their oral dose, which is 100, you'll get them back exactly where you started, okay? But if I'm taking 10 milligrams a day of oral haloperidol, what should my maintenance dose be? Somebody say it. 200, yeah, 20 times. But in this study, what did they choose as the maintenance dose on the far right? They chose 100. That's not right, and it wasn't. Look at the levels. <laughs> so this illustrates both principles, that if you wanted to load somebody with weekly injections, those weekly injections should be 10 times the oral dose. The oral dose based on what they're actually taking, which you'll know because maybe you've obtained a plasma level. Or maybe they're adherent. I've, I've heard of these people. I haven't seen them really, but I've heard of them. But the maintenance dose will always be 20 times. For some reason in this study, they chose a maintenance dose of 100 milligrams a month. It should have been what? It should have been 200, right. And, and here's the illustration. If, you ever, if ever you wonder, why did they pick 20? Well, this is the answer, among other studies as well. So the question you might ask is, well, in that first week after they stopped their oral, their plasma level dropped by more than 50%. This might not be so good. And I would say you are correct. So the principles from that study, which I think will serve you very well, is that, at least in the study, they gave them weekly for four weeks. I think you could do it for three weeks, but certainly weekly for four weeks was clearly equivalent. Um, but you might need some oral coverage in that first week, okay? And again, this might depend on the acuity of the patient. Are they violent? Are they mellow? You know, all those variables that we use, the phase of the moon, the day of the week, etc. You know, what the last Twitter was from the president. So whatever it is, these are things to consider because you know the plasma level will be below for about a week, maybe a week and a half. So maybe you don't cut off the oral completely. Maybe you continue it for a week or so, week and a half. But you know pretty quickly you're going to be right in the game. And then at that point, it won't matter. So then the other question is, well, when do I start for maintenance injections, which will be 20 times? And that's two weeks after the last loading. 